Welcome to day, what day is it? 19 of your yoga practice. My name is Mary. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be working on expanding the area of our throat, the area of communication. Communication takes listening and being able to verbalize what you're feeling inside. So let's get started. Come to your mat and we'll start on our backs today. So just lower down and settle in, feeling yourself sinking in, feeling the muscles of your body, releasing tension and coming into practice. So take a moment here and listen. And there's never complete silence. Even the earth has its own vibration. And that's what sound is, is vibration. So take one of your hands and place them on your vocal cords, on your neck. And just say, hum, and feel the vibration on your hand. Let's do that one more time. Hum. So today, as I mentioned, we'll work on expanding our area of communication, our voice. So roll onto your side and then come up to a seated position. You could sit cross-legged. You could sit in a chair if that would be more comfortable. So we're going to start by bringing your left arm in front of your body and then across your body and placing your right hand on your shoulder. So feeling the stretch in your shoulder. Now slightly turn your head to the left and look up a little bit. So feeling an expansion in the area of your throat. And we'll hold this for a breath or two. feeling and hearing your breath and then come back to seated sit up tall draw your shoulders down and back and now let's move with the right arm drawing across your body placing your left hand on your right shoulder and then turning your neck slightly to the right and looking up feeling the breath moving in and out of your throat. And then you can bring your arm down. We'll just do shoulder rolls back, sitting up tall with breath as your shoulders come up, breathing in. And as they come down, out. And let's reverse in and out. In and out. Out. Now bring your hands behind you. You could place your hands on the earth behind you or you could clasp your hands behind your back. If your hands are clasped, bring your knuckles to the earth so you can find more space by drawing your shoulder blades together. But again, not overstretching. So if that's too much, you can just have your hands by your side. And then we're just gonna do that head movement again. So first looking to the left slightly and slightly up, feeling that expansion in the area of your throat. And then coming back to neutral and then looking to the right and slightly up. And then coming back to neutral. So let's come on to all fours. Spread your fingers wide, knees hip distance apart, and we'll do cat cow. So bring your chest and tailbone up, but this time really lengthen your neck slightly forward so you feel the expansion in your throat. And then as you exhale, rainbow your spine, draw your tailbone in, tuck in your chin. And let's do that one more time on an inhale. So really drawing your neck long and then exhaling. 
Now come on to your belly and we'll come into Cobra Pose. So bring your hands by your side alongside your chest, draw your shoulders back, place the tops of your feet into the earth and rise up. And once again, not craning your neck up, but expanding your neck long as you hold the pose. And we're gonna hold this for a couple of breaths. So feeling the work that your upper body is doing, feeling the muscles in your upper back really working and strengthening. And breathing as you hold your pose and then lowering down. Now press up into all fours and then right away sink into child's pose. Place your right hand towards the outside of your mat. Place your left hand on top of right. So feel the expansion along your left side body. You could rest your head on your right arm. As you take a breath in, come back to center. Take a breath in, and then as you exhale, place your right hand on top of left. So this time feeling the expansion along your right side body, perhaps resting your head on your left arm. Come back to center, press yourself up to all fours, come to a seated position, and then we're going to come onto our backs all the way we'll come into a modified bridge pose so have your feet planted in the earth your heels in a position where your fingers can just scrape your heels you could adjust your foot placement to a position that's comfortable so now as we press our feet and arms into the earth bring your hips up and then bring your arms up overhead and then look to the right. Now look straight up to the sky and lower your hips and arms down. Take a breath in, bring your hips and arms up. Look to the left. And then look up to the sky and then bring your arms and your hips down. Now come to your resting position, which could be Shavasana or any position where you can find stillness for the last bit of class. Start to settle in. Tune in to the sounds that you're hearing. This time tuning in to internal sounds. The sound of your breath as it moves in and out through your nose. And as you're resting here, think about these words. You have a voice. You speak your truth. You are understood. You listen and you understand. Bring awareness back to your breath. Take in a full deep breath from your belly. Expand your ribs, bring the air up into your chest. And then exhale completely through your mouth. Roll onto your side. Take a moment in gratitude, thanking yourself for taking care of yourself and taking time to practice. When you're ready, press yourself up into a seated position. Draw your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for practicing today. Namaste.